Okay, everything's everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Serious Curious Adventures in Dark Souls 3. So I spent a little bit of time here checking out some of the uh, armor we have and weapons and ah, what I kind of want to do and stuff. Um, first of all, now that we got the Ring of Favor, it actually unlocked a new set here. The, I guess, the set of favor. <laughs> I don't know what do you, what you want to call it. Um, Helm of the Pit Pitable Embraced Knight depicts the affection of the goddess Fina, adrift on a sea of isolation, only his face and the love of his goddess remain true, and so the knight fors uh, forsook all else. The face is crafted to depict the goddess embrace, embrace, quite ignoring the fact that her love is in fact as fickle as the weather. So this is uh, the set that belonged to Lordrek. Was that his name? Lordrek, I believe, in Dark Souls 1. He was kind of a jerk, but yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I've been looking at some armor. I actually bought the Xanthos overcoat because I was wondering if it looks kind of cool, but it's very yellow. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess, because of the name. Um, originally, when we made this character, I was kind of like saying he was supposed to be like a, a Eastern ninja whatever guy, right? Um, and the, we, we went with the Uchigatana for a while, and I switched out to the to the big blade. But I think actually, I wonder if there's any better mask we can wear. Wow, I, I think I'm gonna switch to the Uchigatana for a while again. I think I really, <laughs> now that I had a chance to like try a different weapon, uh, I'm starting to like this one again. It seems really strong compared to what I have. The the great sword. On, it, on its own right now. It doesn't do as much damage as uh, the Uchi. Well, maybe with the scaling it does, actually. But it's a lot slower, and it's it, you need the scales to upgrade this, so it's a little bit more expensive to... Um, although it is a lot of fun to use, but I think I want to stick with the Uchi for a little bit again. Um, I also bought the washing pole, which is like the longest katana. Look at this thing. <laughs> You're like Sephiros. Final Fantasy. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. It's not upgraded and stuff, so... I'm not sure if I want to use it. I think Uchigatana for now. Uh, I might play around with some other th uh, weapons later on as well. I kind of... I checked out the, the Pontiff Greatsword. Great Curved Sword. It's really cool, actually. Uh, it's like a... Also very, like, Eastern-looking weapon, I guess. And it also has this crazy special attack, like where you do uh, this and then... The Ice Blade. The problem with this weapon is it needs Twinkling Titanite to upgrade, and kind of one of my biggest reasons to upgrade to the or switch to the Uchi again is because we can use uh, we can enchant these with fire and stuff, right? Uh, this one we can't, the Great Sword we can't, like we can't use our resin on these, unfortunately. So yeah, I don't know. A Star Great Sword. When did I get this? <laughs> Uh, so I think I'll stick with this for a while. I might try some other ones like the Cell Sword, Twin Blade sounds kind of fun, or we got these crazy claws at one point too. Uh, th these mannequin claws, but I don't know. For now, that that will stick, I guess. Uh, and then for for outfits, uh, last time we wore the what was it? The Alva set, but I believe, right? Uh, yeah, this one Alva armor. We wore this one. It's actually kind of cool with the mask. Um, but I wanted to switch back to something like this again because it looks cool. I like this one a lot. But I also just bought the uh, the Undead Legion armor that's from the uh, Abyss Watches. Abyss Watches. And it actually looks really cool. Look at this cape. I like this cape a lot because it has these like crazy, like goopy patterns at the end. And it looks very light. And I don't know. It looks really fancy. On the picture, it didn't really look that cool, <laughs> I guess. But now that I'm wearing it, not bad. So I might stick with this. Uh, and then, yeah, for helmets, let's see. Can have a creepy face? <laughs> no. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have the, obviously, the Thief mask, which we used quite a while. We have the Fallen Knight's helmet, which looks like a medieval Star Wars character. Cell sword, very eastern, but not a fan of it. Mm. <laughs> Mimic hat, which drains our health. Wow, this is the best hat. Um, I wonder if we can trade this for the crow, with the crow or something. 
so yeah, spooky mask. We don't have a lot of like cool hats, so uh, I think I just stick with the thief one. How is this one? Let's see, the sorcerer. But oh, the sorcerer one actually goes with this armor because it's the same color. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Let's see. Oh, now I need to now now I need to decide, and it's gonna be difficult. Maybe I'll try this one for a while. It goes with the the rest of the armor, same color. And for gloves, uh, let's do something else because they don't look that great. Fallen knights. They look a little bit too heavy. This is important, guys. Fashion souls. It's super important. I had like the pontiff ones on before because they were light, but uh, now they look like really puffy. Mirror gloves, maybe? Ah, the gloves are diff difficult, especially now that we don't have sleeves, I guess. Eh, these are not too bad. You know what? I think I might actually like the cell sword ones the most. It's just a few like bandanas or something. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's stick with this. Alright. And I think the rest is okay. I bought a few more of these pine resins. So, I should probably buy more bolts too. But it's okay. Let's just keep going for now. Water reserve. And we can just take the ladder up and make it to the rooftops. Might have to get used to the Uchi again, <laughs> but uh, should be should be fine. All right, let's go. The ladder should be on this side, right? Yeah. There it is. I need to remember now with with this uh, weapon that I have the parry. Um, I'm wondering if I should switch out the shield, but I don't think I have to, because, like I said, I have a parry with this weapon, and uh, I don't have to... If I if I use the shield, I just have to block with that. I don't have to um, switch to two-hand first before I can parry, so that's probably fine. Yeah, let's keep it. All right. Ooh, I like this. It's very, like... Okay, now that we have more light here, we can maybe check this out a bit better. I think the pants have to go. The pants don't quite go with the set yet. Uh, maybe something black. That looks way too fancy. It looks like suit pants almost. This is important. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I might just buy the the pants that go to that go with the set. Where's the? Oh, this is the Fallen Knight one. Uh, that kind of goes. Yeah, that looks good. How's our weight? Super good. Thanks to our two rings. Actually, do I need the Havel ring then? I do not. Alright, let's use a better ring. I think I'm gonna use the Serpent ring again just to get more souls. Sure, why not? Okay. Yeah, I still don't know what that place up there is. I'm guessing we'll go there eventually, maybe? Is there anything on these sides? No. Uh, while I was uh, editing some videos, though, it looked like there was... Let's see. Yeah, there's a pathway up here, too. Ow. <laughs> okay. It's been, a, it's been again, a few days since I played. So I don't remember this place too much. Is this better to run up there, though? Because there's a building, this tower up there. It has a ladder and uh, some doors that we can't open from the inside. So I wonder if that somehow leads there, but it doesn't look like it. I don't know which pass is better. I feel like we have two arches if we go up here. I think the other one was better, maybe. So let's just stick to this. It worked pretty well last time, I think. The stuff down there, right, okay. Uh, although, now I think about this, fighting these guys has been difficult now because before I used that crazy attack. Now I can't do that. It doesn't stagger them as much. Yeah, it still sort of staggered them. Okay. So... 
There was a downstairs, which I don't remember what there was. I should take out this guy first, though. I think. I think I tried to kick him down a few times and it never worked. Maybe it works better with this sword because I'm lighter now? No. Ooh, okay. I was lucky. Alright, so there's this guy left and downstairs. Uh, not sure which way to go first. I'm guessing this tower is going to be shortcut up these things later on. I, but I keep dying down there, right? But it looks like that's exactly where it goes to. Oh. All right. Yeah, I feel. I think I'm a little bit better with faster weapons. Oh, I wish I could pull this out and throw it at people. Okay, here I think what I did is just pull one. Right. I think it's the easiest thing to do. I could try to parry again, but uh, okay, let's try it. I want to try it. Oh, what? That should have worked. Oh well, backstab. At least he didn't hit me. Oh no. Not this one though. There we go. Cool. Okay, this jerk. Thinking, what could I do here? His lightning or his spear is the problem. Right? Because that did a ton of damage. Why are you standing like this? Is someone behind me gonna shoot? Oh, that's the spiral staircase up there, too. I could probably just ignore him and go inside, to be honest, but. <laughs> I need my revenge! From this stupid jerk. No, no. All right. Revenge got or get, I don't know. So this is okay, that's the tower actually. Maybe I was looking at the wrong... I think I was looking at this thing. It's just behind there. So... I should open this up, probably. Because that looks like it might be helpful. I know there's another archer. That might become a problem. But I really just want to open that gate. So let's go do that. Yeah, this is all it is. Shotgun. Awesome. Although, hmm, this is really bad, though. Because when you run up here, you have to face... Also, let's use an amber. Just in case. Um, if you run up here... Oh, see, the game keeps doing that stuttery thing. Oh, there's some items. Uh, you still have to fight the guy up there, then. Two, in fact. How do you... Oh, you drop down the roof, then, and then run back up here, I guess. Ooh, there it is. Maybe I should wait a cat ring here. Oh, Dragon's Eye Great Bowl, awesome. How much strength does this one require? I still want to use this one though. 19 strengths. Oh, I needed only one level up. I keep forgetting. Oh, I already had one. <laughs> it's only 20, so it's not too bad. Could probably equip it if we wanted to. Yeah, so just jump down and run back. Let's see if there's anything else up here though. Oh, he's right there. All right, let's go.
Hey guys, how's it going? Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Fire. Lots of fire. It's hot. Hot fire. Let's go up here. They can overwhelm me really quickly. God, I love this. The amber on this thing now look awesome too. Imp mentioned this outfit before. And that's kind of what made me look into it a little bit. Because it didn't look too fancy in the picture, like I said. Okay, the guy is... There, I think, somewhere. Was there more on this thing here, though? I don't remember, actually. Hmm. I just want to keep going forward a little bit, though. Because we've been here so many times now. Dying. That I would just want to see what else there is. Maybe even a bonfire? I don't know. Suddenly it's quiet. It's gonna be a boss fight? Oh my god, it's Quinn! Isn't it? Wait, is this a kiln? Okay, this is crazy. Hmm. I think this is Gwyn. Is this gonna be in Anna Londo there was like a great like a like a uh, sort of a catacomb I guess. Yeah, but I don't know what's up with these stutterings today. There was sort of a catacomb I guess where Gwyn was or where his grave was, I believe, or something. I don't remember. And the tunnel, I mean the the elevator here, the spire stack is actually connected to it. And down there was uh Gwyn over here? No Gwyn. The guy, Gwendolyn, I think. Yeah, Gwendolyn is the guy, I think. Um, and yeah, he, that's where you got the, I think the Covenant, the, the Blue Sentinel one. All right, so if this is anything like Dark Souls 1, we are about to fight a gargoyle, but I'm guessing it won't be like this. Although we have seen gargoyles. So, I don't know, possibilities. Okay, so we can push it, like before. Let's just have a look if there's a secret thing to jump off. Not here. I wonder if this can go further down as well. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if you can push it from both sides. So we could push it from here. Can we also push it from here? Oh, we can. Oh, no. Okay. Well, up we go. Woo! <laughs> it looks awesome. Oh, there might be drops here or something. Yep. That is... It, ugh, it has to be, guys. It has to be Anna Londo. It just has... Oh, okay. That freaks me out. I'm a little bit afraid of heights. By a little bit, I mean a lot. This is exactly Anna Londo. It is Anna Londo. It is. <laughs> it has to be. I'm not going to believe that this is not Anna Londo. It might not be. I don't know. Oh, Bonfire. Let's see the name. Let's see the name. Because this is the... Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm just freaking out a little bit. Dude... I don't know why that excites me so much. It is. After all. Oh boy. I I'm gonna have to watch some people's videos and see, like, people who also play Dark Souls 1 and just see their reaction. I know there's gonna be a few are probably excited as well. Silver Knight patrolling. Ah, oh, that's freaking awesome. Okay, so let's think about this a little bit. If this is Anna Londo, I mean, things have changed, obviously, because it's not 100% the same. Oh, someone's coming. Then, there used to be a cathedral on this side, but there's a tower now. And below that cathedral, which had the painting of Ariam Ariamis, 
Um, oh, maybe that is the cathedral right there and it just sunk into the ground? Because I think it had a tower too. Okay, they're both coming, huh? But uh, below that tower was um, uh, Gwendolyn and the grave. That's the one I need to avoid! Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Oh crap. Suck it, dude. Seven eye leggings. Yeah, so um it it looks like we can go there too. Maybe. I don't know. See that is Oh yeah 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 yeah, hold on. What if we go downstairs now? Before we continue here. Oh man, this is oh I'm gonna miss out of order. Uh I knew it. I wonder if these giant soldiers are still inside. They always gave me trouble. Okay, so this is now... See, there's a bonfire, even. Yeah, this might be the cathedral, where the painting was, used to be. And you had to go there through the roof. I kind of like how we walked over these beams here. That's how you had to get there as well. And then there was a tower, and you could... Activate this elevator... To go up. That connected back to the main entrance. <laughs> Mysterious, guys. It's awesome, though. I love it. See, now I don't feel so bad about <laughs> being like, this has to be out of Londo. Ah, oh, it's awesome. Okay, let's go inside. Wonder if you meet Sequot here again. Uh, you did meet him here in Dark Souls 1, too. Oh, he has a... Just a sword, right? Oh, that was not the right button, even. I, was using, I wasn't using the parry. Just have to get used to it. Oh, crap. Not the best range. It's cool. It's so good. Alright. Oh, look at it! Are the gates gonna be open? Probably not. Yeah, it's the same thing. So the gates used to be closed as well. And there were giant guards standing in front of it. And you had to go to the right side here. Um, where there were some demons. You remember those demons that carried us from Lostrick to the Undead Settlement? Those guys were here. And you had to go around there. And then run up these side beams to get through the window. And on these side beams is where these um, Anolondo archers were standing. The ones that were shooting us earlier. And that was like the really difficult part, getting past them. But once you make it inside, you can obviously open the door on the inside. Nice. Okay, so let's look on this side first. Let's see what's up here. Looks a bit different. There was a big giant blacksmith. Oh no, he's here too. <laughs> oh my god, it is exactly everything the same. It's the same. Ah, oh, but he died. Poor giant. Giant's call. He was a good blacksmith. He did a lot of the infusions. Call used for weapon infusion. It is said that the giant blacksmith of Andalondo was once the blacksmith of the gods. Gift to the blacksmith in the shrine to allow the use 
for gems for lightning oh, of gems for lightning simple and chaos oh now we can do the simple ones oh man what's up with this place then this is where some of these demons used to be is this uh, walkable Ooh. okay Careful. It's awesome. Look at this view. That's the graveyard down there, right? And that must be Yoshka's Cathedral, whatever church. Huh. Okay. Sorry, I'm like slow. I'm like walking around, looking at everything first. Yeah, this is where some of these demons were as well. I guess we can go inside. I could go check the other, on the other side maybe first. But, oh man. Look how rundown this place is. So this here should connect to the main hall. On top of it. It's still the same. Wow, it's really dark. No more light here, I guess, huh? You still look pretty. Oh, what are those? Oh, those are like deacons. Yeah, that's the big hallway. That one had giant soldiers before. And uh, this here, is that the entrance? I think it's a lever there for the big door. Also, it's super dark. Let's see if there is still a secret here. Nope. And a giant fog gate. So... <laughs> behind that door... Was the boss fight for Ornstein and Smaug. They better not use Ornstein and Smaug again. There's a, there's a thing about like reusing places, coming back, revisiting, you know. It is different, it's not the same, exactly. But if you would have to fight the same bosses, that would be strange. I don't think that will happen though, because we got Smaug's Great Hammer and... And we also got... Um, oh, what are those slimy things? We got uh, Leo's ring. Well, I guess I go for it, huh? I had to wait a little bit before he sends up proof of a concord kept. Which is which is the blue sentinel stuff, right? So I'm guessing we'll meet this blue sentinels here again. This this place is a little bit spooky. I wanna open that gate if I can. I should just go for it. Is there anything on the ceiling? Oh, I know. It's all fireball coming from the distance there. Oh no! Those clicker guys. Ugh. Is there a way back up? I think there is. Oh, hello. Thought you were dead. Oh, there's a chest. Yeah. 
Oh, it doesn't have a... I think it's a normal chest. I'm gonna wait. Okay, I think we can run up there. God damn it. Moonlight arrows. Huh, okay, I guess we have to fight that thing. Oh, hello. What's this? I guess I take care of these guys first, maybe? Tempting, guys. Tempting. <laughs> no, we need to... Oh, hello. We need to open the shortcut again. So many of these, though. I'm already out. Definitely want to get rid of them if I fight this guy here. Oh, he's dead. We don't actually know what he does, because we kind of... ...cheesed him last time. They just keep coming? I guess they're hanging on these pillars, maybe? I think I have a bunch of fireballs still. <sighs> okay. I guess we do it, huh? Maybe I should just run for the lever. Oh, he has curse. Oh. Game, stop lagging. I don't know what's happening. There's nothing on my PC running that would do that. <sighs> so annoying. Aldrich Ruby, okay. So that door is open at least, so we can just run here to the boss. I don't think the guy will respawn. Let's have a quick look over here. You have red eyes. Oh, no, not this one. I don't know how to parry that one yet. Alright, alright, getting there. Learning the normal parries at least. Look at this view. Soul of a Crestfallen. Again. I still wonder if there's like stuff around these. Maybe a bit too obscure, right? A little bit too far away from the rest of everything else. Okay, and I'm guessing that gate up there is going to be closed. 
Oh, from, oh, close from the other side, I guess. Oh, nothing at all. Wait. Hmm. That's strange. Doesn't even give me a prompt. Uh, okay, let's uh, read about the ring. A malformed ring left by Aldrich, Saint of the Deep, recovers HP from critical attacks. Oh. Aldrich, infamous for his appetite for flesh, apparently had the desire to share with others his joy of imbi imbibing the final shudders of life while luxurating in his victim's screams. That might actually be a pretty cool ring. Huh. Uh, for the boss, though, I think I'm gonna go check it out. Let's stick with maybe um, the blue tiered stone thingy. Huh. So we don't need the serpent one right now. Although, should I sit down first? Hmm. Sort of just want to go see if we can see who it is, even. Give it at least a try, but the uh, the episode is almost over anyway, so huh. unless it's a long one, right? <laughs> but my my uh, I don't have too much flask left either. Let's just have a quick look up here again, see if there was anything else. I feel like there was also on the other side like a hallway that I didn't go down. Wait, wait, wait. So we came in. Hmm, let's see. Maybe there's a secret wall here. Because we came in from like the side. No, okay. Let's go on the other side real quick. I mean, five flasks. We have a lot of souls though, and I kind of do need to heal again. I don't see a summoning sign here, do I? Maybe I. Okay, I need to look around again because I want to see if there's some NPC summoning signs. Okay, so yeah, this is where we came from. Because I was wondering, maybe on the other side there's like a illusionary wall like this. But I think there was like a little thing here, maybe? No? It seemed like at one point I was running into something. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's have a look around again. Because I, I missed the summoning signs before Pontiff Sullivan's door as well last time. I saw them in the in the video while I was editing, but not while I was uh, playing. Which is a common thing, but I actually don't see them this time, so maybe there's none. Would have been awesome if it was Soleil or something, <laughs> you know? Or Gwyn? Sure, why not? But I mean, they're all dead, so... Oh yeah, in the chest! That's a shot. Okay. Hello. Alright. Should I go check it out? I should, I should go check it out. We have 40,000 souls almost, but... That's okay. I don't really... I don't have anything to buy right now, is it? So, let's see what's going on in here. Alright. Oh, it's Aldrich! Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, he, he, that's Aldrich? I thought he was a slimy thing. Oh, Aldrich is a sheep. Maybe. That didn't go so well. <laughs> hmm. Okay, this is not what I thought about Aldrich. I feel like in the intro they showed us a goopy goopy thing. Um, cool though. Holy crap, that's gonna be interesting. Do we have to fight these guys? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Just follows and follows and follows, huh? Alright, round two. That 
that just keeps going. Game's stuttering again. happening. He's annoying. Okay. Oh, he has fire now, or she. Ouch. Oh, they just followed me this time, maybe. Huh, okay. Okay, we can do this. Pretty cool boss. I don't have too much fire left, <laughs> but... Fun. I also have lightning ones. I don't know if they would be better in this case. There's no easier way to get there, huh? Or like, get past these guys, maybe. They just follow you and follow you and follow you. Oh, they stopped. Steam, go away. Okay, I keep forgetting that she does that. Let's do fire again. I think I just go forward, so if I'm behind her, or him, I'll be fine. Oh crap. Ah, oh, god damn it. Should have rolled. I was too greedy again. Okay, yeah, the second time the arrows just follow you. Okay, okay, okay. I get it now. Maybe I don't get it. I don't know how to avoid these. Ah, I don't understand the arrow.
think we did it. Yeah, we did it. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Cinders of a Lord. Soul of Aldrich. My heart. Ooh, my heart is about to explode. Oh, we have those side elevators too. Big one here, small one on this side. Yep. Oh boy. Um, she did not do the arrow thing this time. Like in the second phase. Otherwise, I would probably have died again. I don't know how to avoid that. I thought I have to like run away, but eventually catched up. So I tried to like roll to the side when it catches up, but it just does a quick turn and gets me anyway. So I don't know. Cool. Let's uh, let's read about it, I guess. Soul of Aldrich, one of the Twisted Souls. Uh, when Aldrich ruminated on the fading of the fire, it inspired visions of a coming age of the deep sea. He knew. Oh, it's a guy. He knew the past would be uh, arduous, uh, but he had no fear. He would devour the gods himself. He looked a lot like Gwendolyn, I think. I'm not sure though. Could be wrong. Cinder of a Lord left by Aldrich, devourer of gods. If the Lord will not return to their thrones themselves, let them return as cinders. Aldrich became a Lord by devouring men, but was disillusioned with his throne, and so took to devouring gods instead. Huh. Welcome home, speak. Anything new? Dude, I just did something really cool. Why don't you talk about it? Oh, have Ashen One bring this. No. <laughs> But she might sell, like, stuff now, like, Oni Slayer Great Arrows. Large arrows used to destroy giant horned Oni in an eastern land. Can only be used with great bows. Made from the feathers of an aged crow, it is said that these arrows fly as straight as their master. Oh. Uh, did we have this one before? I think so. Is there any, like, other boss-like... Oh, dark arrows? Nice. Oh, you can buy Ornstein's armor. Oh, Smaug's armor. Awesome. Grotesque armor associated with Smaug, the last knight to stand in defense of the ruined cathedral. Boasts extremely high defense and can be donned by humans, but not without great difficulty. Awesome. You too can look really fat if you want. We don't get Ornstein's armor though. Uh, is there anything else? Any new keys or something? No. Ashen <laughs> We can also give this guy our call. My my, the coal of that peaceable giant. Seems like ages passed. I imagine his passing was long ago. I miss the old bugger, I do. My thanks. I'll be sure this coal is put to good use. I'll be smithing weapons never before seen by the likes of ye. It's but a small service to pay my humble respects. <laughs> nice. We also get a shot. Do we have two or one? Just one, okay. Anything new with you guy? Oh, hey, and in you can keep them. Oh, no, of course not. You sell anything awesome now? Uh, same old, Goodbye, I guess. Mother. Goodbye. She's still dead. Oh, he. <laughs> I don't think he'd come back. Oh, I should actually check if other NPCs are like, okay, he's still there. She okay? Yeah. I know the episode's super long right now, but I might as well want to do all these things that are related to the boss right now uh, in this episode before we continue not la uh, next time so let's also talk to him check out the boss souls uh -huh, that's all. Ah, most Ill fine kindling and also nothing in fact. so what c could we get with her with his soul uh, we get life hunt size it's a spell Miracle of Aldrich Devour of Gods. Aldrich dreams as he slowly devoured the god of the Dark Moon. In this dream, he perceived the form of a young, pale girl in hiding. Okay. Is that a reference to Gwendolyn? Did he eat G Gwendolyn? And that's why he looks like Gwendolyn? I don't know if Gwendolyn was a... 
uh, was like a god. If that's if if she was if he was one or not, I don't know. That's very strange. Ooh, a Dark Moon Longbow. Longbow of a Dark Moon Gwendolyn, who was gradually devoured by Aldrich. He did! He ate Gwendolyn, and that's why he looks like that. This golden bow is imbued with powerful magic and is most uh, impressive with Moonlight Arrows. It has a skill Dark Moon Arrow. Infuse a ready, readied arrow with Dark Moon Essence, granting it magic damage. Oh, that's really awesome. I'm gonna get this, because... Hold on. Yeah. Because I, I don't... I don't I can't trace the rest the anyway, so I might as well. With, she is much like Are you Aldrich's? Yeah. Look at that goopy gross thing. Nice! Two souls returned! Two left to do, right? Yorm and Losric. Uh, what's his name, Losric? No. Whatever, the king. <laughs> anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.